So in our personal lives, we're all enjoying the move to uh, mobile. But in the business world, and particularly in software, there's another trend that's completely changing the way people think about products. And that's called the cloud. And again, uh, we are thinking and working hard on ways to let scientists and engineers harness the cloud for their applications. So to start with, I'd like to introduce Dia Mukherjee and Mike Neal from the LabVIEW team, and Steve Jean from a partner, Pico Facet. All right, guys, what do you have? So with the evolution of the web, more and more of our customers required remote monitoring and control of their LabVIEW-based systems, preferably through a web browser. To enable this approach, and I introduced the ability to publish VIs as web services, thus allowing you to communicate with your LabVIEW application using standard HTTP protocol. And then with that in place, our customers can use standard web programming tools like JavaScript or Adobe Flash to build that web-based GUI that talks to the web services. Well, hold on, Mike. That is such a wrong answer. We've got a room full of LabVIEW users, so hopefully you have a better answer than that. Well, that's right, John. And I has been hard at work on an alternative approach, which is basically a LabVIEW gr graphical programming editor that you can use to build the same kinds of web clients. It's something that we're calling LabVIEW Web UI Builder, and it's based on a new Microsoft web technology called Silverlight. All right, cool. Let's take a look at it. Sure. Let's start by bringing up the editor. Since it's based on Microsoft Silverlight technology, you'll notice the editor runs entirely in the browser with zero install. So in effect, this is a software as a service application running in the cloud. Let's go ahead and create a new VI. For our demo today, we're going to need a couple of indicators on our panel. Let's start with a gauge from our numeric palette. And we're also going to need a chart so we can look at this data over time. Mike, could you zoom out just a little bit so we can uh, resize this chart and view more data at a given time? The Web UI Builder echoes the same user experience as LabVIEW. And so in addition to this panel we just saw with controls, there is a corresponding block diagram where we add our logic using graphical code. So let's drop a while loop around these terminals we have. And just like in LabVIEW, our while loop needs a stop condition. The final piece of our demo that we're going to build today is communication with the remote compact Rio system. And for that, we use the import web service wizard. So we give it the address of the device we wish to communicate with. And once we connect to this device, it gives us a list of all the web services available on that target. So we pick the one we want for this demo and import it. What this is doing behind the scenes is scripting functions and adding them as sub-VIs to our project automatically. So you can see over on the left, our project has been updated. And now we can simply drag the sub-VI onto our block diagram and wire it up to those indicators that we dropped earlier on our panel. So I think we're all set here, Mike. Let's give it a run. You can see we're reading live data from our web service there. All right, very cool. So what you just showed here, the whole thing was done in a browser. There's no install. And now we've converted all of these LabVIEW programmers into web developers. That's very cool. Now, uh, you know, you've talked a lot about new technology. And I've got to say, those are pretty plain looking controls. Don't you have anything cooler? Yeah, John, I, I kind of agree. But one of the nice things about this new technology is we have the ability to skin the entire front panel very easily. So I can quickly switch from this system skin to one called Metallic, which is very reminiscent in terms of its color to a lot of NI hardware. All right, very cool. So we saw our, we saw our new color scheme yesterday. That was the big, big announcement day one. Um, now, we also connected to the hardware using a web service. And actually, that was a real Compact Rio system in Dallas. And Steve, I think that's where you come in. Uh, why don't you tell us a little more about your application? Thank you, John. Uh, our customers are natural gas-fired power generation facilities. These facilities require a clean gas stream to operate at maximum efficiency. Our unit takes a gas sample from the, uh, from the pipeline and monitors the gas for cleanliness continuously. The, um, the unit consists of a laser device and a C-Rio as the brains and the communication mechanism, which transfer the data via satellite to our home office here in Texas. 
Very cool. So uh, I can see a very rugged machine too. Um, explain a little bit why the web uh, client is so important to your customers. Okay, our, our customers need the ability to monitor the gas cleanliness uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week from anywhere in the world. Cool, can we take a look at it? Sure, sure. All right, so we've got a nice tablet here, so you can, again, just launching a web browser, you can do this anywhere. Um, and uh, we're making the connection, downloading the web, and there we go. Very cool, so. Uh, <laughs> why don't you uh, describe a little bit about what we're looking at sure. here? Sure, what we're looking at here is we're looking at the, uh, the particle distribution real time on a gas pipeline up in the chart area. The, the bottom left indicator is the uh, flow rate for the, for the laser monitor, and the, the right three indicators are the process conditions of the pipeline. Cool, now how have you provided this capability in the past? Well, in the past we've used the, rem the remote panel technology from LabVIEW, and we've had two issues with that. One of the first issue was that getting the customer to load the runtime engine was always an inconvenience, and the second issue was um, it did not condone to standard HTTP protocol. All right, and, and with Web LabVIEW UI Builder, um, it's right in the center of how web sites and IT people work, so we're very excited about this. And Steve, I want to thank you for working with this new technology with us. Thank you. And, uh, you know, there's only one question left. When can we get our hands on this? So, John, we anticipate an early access release targeted at early adopters in the next month or so. All right, thanks. We'll be looking for that. All right, thanks, John.